There's a lot of misnomers about coffee right now. And, and so what we try to do is try to take it back to its essence. And you know, I've always said that you have to know where you've come from to know where you're going. So in the case of coffee, you kind of have to know the history of coffee or the, and, and educate people in the history of coffee to kind of move forward in coffee. And so I think we're kind of taking the next step forward in coffee as far as trying to take it to the next level. I got started in coffee, I would say probably 18 or 20 years ago. Um, I helped run a few shops by, just by happenstance and uh, running those coffee shops I, I really learned that I loved coffee. And then in 2008 um, I actually started up a coffee truck and we started that running it on the streets around 2010, ran it for a couple years and then we were lucky enough to find this location at 707 Fulton Street. Even though the coffee truck was great, a brick and mortar allows you to see that the neighborhoods around you, they really appreciate you being here and then it becomes a whole new type of relationship with your customers. It's just a gathering place for people to show up and have a common love of something. definitely see a care of coffee. I mean, in, in, in Indianapolis especially, I mean, we've got a lot of cities that have been doing it for a while, but Indianapolis has really taken hold of this third wave mentality of coffee, which is sustainability, the care that you take with the beans, um, the technique and the ingredients of the drinks, and really making it a, a whole experience when you come to a coffee shop of, of the drink that's it's prepared the best possible way it can with the best ingredients possible. Welcome to Caffeine Coffee Company. How can I help you? Uh, Y'all have the, the special? Yeah, yeah, the Spanish latte? The first wave of coffee was, was freeze-dried, it was Folgers, it was Sanka, it was those instant coffees that lost all of their flavor during the freeze-dried process. Um, second wave coffee was introduced in the 70s by a few companies that then took whole beans and were selling beans fresh and then of course grinding them and then they started making drinks from those beans. Third wave takes it a step further, third wave will worry about the sustainability of the coffee, fair trade as far as um, farmers and it also the, the quality of the beans from, the, from uh, how it grows to how it's picked to how it's dried to how it's sorted. So it really is thinking about every step of the coffee process from crop to cup. Um, every country in the world drinks coffee. They, they have different ways of preparing it. Our, our best thing is to pay tribute to coffee by trying to prepare it as it's prepared all over the world. When you're talking about coffee that was roasted within 48 hours, that's in your espresso or that's in your latte, um, they end up loving it. I, I love the front of the house as well, where you get to interact with the customers, where you can really find out what they're about, what they like, and find out what they really love about what we've worked hard at doing, which is creating a quality menu with, with, with a wide variety of drinks. 